friends now we have started with the topic of salts and common salt or table salt that is chemically sodium chloride with the formula NaCl is a very very important compound in our day to day lives as well as to be used in other industrial processes now how do we get sodium chloride see water is the main source so when we obtain sodium chloride it is a very very important raw material for many other chemicals first of all we are going to discuss chlor alkali process it's a very important question with respect to the board examination also so chlor alkali process in this process what we are doing actually is electrolysis of brine now what is brine brine is salt solution nacl dissolved in water is called brine so when we are passing electricity through this brine then electrolysis takes place and there are three products which we obtain by the electrolysis of brine sodium hydroxide aqueous chlorine gas and hydrogen gas now why are we doing this process and why we are calling it chlor alkali we are doing this process so as to obtain sodium hydroxide chlorine and hydrogen which are of immense importance in various fields due to their uses now why is it called chlor alkali because during the electrolysis of brine one of the products is chlorine so chlor and the other is sodium hydroxide which is an alkali so we call this process of electrolysis of brine as chlor alkali process now the diagram is in your ncert books so it comprises of an electrolytic cell now when the electrolysis takes place the chlorine gas which is chloride ion is a negative ion so it will move towards anode h positive is positive ion cation moves towards cathode c cation c cathode a anion a anode so an ion will go to anode and at anode you will get chlorine gas now this chlorine gas is used in the preparation of pvc that is polyvinyl chloride and many things which we use today are pvc base then it is also used in the production of cfcs it is also used as an oxidizing agent it is also used as you know disinfectant in swimming pools next is hydrogen the other product of chloralkali process hydrogen we get at cathode now this hydrogen can be used in the preparation of various fuels margarine margarine that is artificial butter so margarine if we want to get margarine in the factories we need to do the hydrogenation that is we need hydrogen then next comes ammonia ammonia is a basic material for the preparation of fertilizers which is prepared in the industry by haber's process now for haber's process we require hydrogen as a raw material so the hydrogen we get by chloralkali process is further used in haber's process for the manufacturing of ammonia to be used in manufacturing of fertilizers and so on the next very important product is sodium hydroxide now sodium hydroxide is a solid it exists is solid form and in the lab we have pellets of sodium hydroxide and it is little soapy to touch and it is a very very strong base now what is its significance this is used in degreasing of metals that is if the metal surface is sticky and dirty so you use an alkaline solution and that degreasing can be done it is also used in paper making industry soap industry etc 
So this is all about chloroalkali process.